lesson four of module one, equivalent ratios, we are using two ratios and you have to prove they're equivalent in three different ways. So let's prove that four ninths is equivalent to 16 over 36 using first a tape diagram. Well, I'm going to start with my original ratio, 4 ninths. I'm going to draw my tape. It has four boxes. I'm going to draw the nine directly underneath it, making sure the first four line up, and then I'll extend it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have to use this tape diagram to prove that 4 ninths is equal to 16 over 36. So I'm going to set this equal to 16, and I'm going to equal this to 36. If these two ratios are equivalent, the same number will go in each one of these boxes. Well, let's see if that's true. 16 when divided by 4 boxes, 16 divided by 4 is 4, so 4 is going to go in every box, okay? 36 divided by 9 is also 4, so 4 is going to go in every box as well. Now because all of these boxes have the same number in them, these two fractions are ratios are equivalent. Well, let's go to uh, step two. Are they, can we prove that they are equivalent by fractions? If two ratios are equivalent using fractions, you'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Four times four is 16. Whatever you do to the top of a frac equal fractions, you must do to the bottom. 9 times 4 is 36. These are equal. And uh, the third step in your homework, too, on Lesson 4, they ask you sometimes to describe how you prove these were equal. You can say you multiplied both parts of the ratio by the same number. And that's really the definition of equivalent ratios.